kids. I bet you knew it was me all along, didn't you? I did have fun dressing up as Crafty Kate and I hope you enjoyed the puzzles in the video. Did you get into the vault? Did you see the final, the final story? Well, if you didn't, you can go and have a look now because the passcode is John316. J-O-H-N, all in capitals. The number three, which was the answer to the equation that you, I gave you, and 16. There were 16 differences in the pictures. I'm going to read the verse to you from my Bible. It says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him i wonder if you want to give your life to jesus because it says here that if we believe in him well we won't perish we will have eternal life we'll go and be in heaven with jesus there's a song that we sing one two three i'm free and i'm going to use the three steps in the one, two, three, I'm free to guide you in a prayer this morning. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, or if you want to just refresh your commitment to Jesus, then you can join along with me now. I'll say a line and then you can repeat it after me. So if you want to settle yourself, put your hands together and close your eyes and sit quietly, you can repeat after me. Heavenly Father, thank you that you sent Jesus into the world. Thank you that he died on the cross for me to pay the price for all the wrong things I've done. Thank you that he conquered death and came back to life again. I choose now to stop the things that I do that are wrong, to turn around from those things. I'm sorry for the things that I've done wrong, Jesus. Lord, I want to follow you to do the things that you did, to do the things that you want me to do. Thank you, Father, that you've come into my life. Father, I want to ask, to ask for your Holy Spirit, that he would come into my life now and fill me with his power. I accept the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, if you said that prayer, then you can know that Jesus is now in your life and that you are forgiven for the things that have you've done, the things you should have done but you didn't do, and that you've now started a life with Jesus. He will have filled you with his Holy Spirit and given you the strength to live the life he wants you to live. But it is a journey and we need to keep asking the Holy Spirit to fill us. And sometimes we need to go back and say to Jesus, I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong because you see, the thing is none of us are perfect and we will carry on doing things that we shouldn't do. And we will not do things that we should do. And perhaps you'd now come on the journey with us at Kingsgate Kids and learn more about what it's like to live a life for Jesus. Well, it was really lovely to see you and we're starting a new series next week. So you can start that journey and carry on hearing all about the amazing things that Jesus did and said. Bye kids.